Hi Cancer, welcome to your end of October love tarot reading. So Cancer, we are looking at whatever you need to know, either about your love life or love situation at this time, taking it as it comes, so please do keep that in mind. We do have the Whispers of Love Oracle here, so I want to get you some opening messages with this deck and then we'll jump into your reading. But welcome in Cancer, I hope you're all doing well staying safe and healthy at this time. If you are new or returning, welcome in, welcome in, and thank you. My name is Mary, and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. All right, Cancer, end of October, love tarot reading. Let's see what we have for you. And I also have another separate tarot uh, oracle deck at the end, and uh, your tarot deck here, so let's see. We have actions speak loudly, express your love through your actions. 49, which is 13, 4, which is stability foundation. Love is all around you. There is love everywhere, all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. We have 16, which is 7. Sevens are divinely guided spiritual energy. They can be a little challenging. Speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change someone's life, including your own. 35.8, travel, action, communication, putting in the work. Back to what you love. Three, growth and expansion. Your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you want. Hmm. Back to what you love. Um, feeling like you're cancer, you've could have had, I feel like you have a connection to somebody where it's kind of like back and forth where you, maybe you flirt and then you don't flirt. Maybe you've dated a little bit. Um, but there was never really, okay, let's really, really date, get to know each other on a romantic level, see where it could go. And, you know, as far as like a relationship, but there are feelings here because this love is all around you. So there's definitely romantic energy here, taking action, speaking the language of love, and going back to what you love. So even though maybe things never really got off the ground, um, there's definitely always feelings here, I feel. Definitely feels like a connection you already have with somebody. But I don't think you were actually ever in a solid relationship or even took the uh, actions to start some sort of romantic courtship dating to proceed into a relationship even though there's feelings here i feel like it came around a couple times but it never got serious enough but there definitely are feelings here so let's see let's see where this is going for you cancer so we do have oh, let me fix my chair here um sorry guys the eight coins tattoo here so this is the tarot we're using to do your reading. And at the end, we will close out with some wisdom of the hidden realms and see what else you need to know. All right. Cancer. So let's see. What do we need to know here? End of October. Love tarot reading for Cancer. Okay. Five of Wands. Six of Swords. The Fool. Hmm. Okay, so definitely looks like there was some sort of challenge or conflict here about this moving forward, but now could be the time we're taking a leap of faith. Queen of Swords, truth, clarity, communication. The world. Definitely there's a stuck energy here. Stuck energy here. Queen of Pentacles, reverse. Somebody could be divorced. I mean, we do have the Queen of Swords, which gives me King, Queen, it don't matter. Um... Divorce vibes, Queen of Pentacles, reverse, same thing. I mean, maybe this person was in another situation. Um, I wasn't really feeling that. It could also be that at the time this connection started happening with this person, um, maybe they were newly divorced and they're like, I'm not really interested in a serious relationship right now or another relationship. So maybe, you know, there was flirting, you know, there was a lot of chemistry, but yet you know, it was like some back and forth energy, but never really going anywhere or dating or being asked out or anything like that. But it looks like some sort of energy is resetting here with the fool. Definitely the world, I'm feeling in reverse, this can be a stuck energy. So definitely a stuck, like on each other energy. Like, yeah, the connections there will like magnets to each other, but 
there's like no really big energy of anything moving forward, but we're always magnet magnetically drawn back to each other. So we're going to see what this energetic reset is with the Fool. Um, okay, we do have here Aquarius, Libra. We are on Libra season right now, which is like maybe a week left or so. Uh, let's see, Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio, and Capricorn. Okay, so let's see what else we need to know for Cancer. So what's happening with the Fool, like the energetic, it could be happening right now because zero gives me no time frame, so I always take it as right now uh, for some of you. But what's being like reset with the Fool? Like what is this about? Oh, Temperance, the Soulmate Alignment. Ten of, nope, that's the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Knight of Cups. Empress. Definitely seeing as an Empress. Justice. And the three of wands reverse can indicate right now too. Justice can give me like divorce vibes. But that's also soul contracts past life. Things meant to be. Universal law and order. Getting what we deserve. Temperance is here to say soulmate, alignment, activation. Peace, harmony, joy, love, light, balance, patience. Soul contracts, past lives too. So there's definitely two energies of that. Definitely the energies have been stuck around dating or taking things on romantically. But they definitely see you in high regard here with the Empress. Could be happening or something's happening right now. So, yeah, so let's look at this person is seeing. Yeah, I've been stuck about this, but I just feel like this connection to Cancer that something's kind of meant to be here. And I've been so hesitant about getting into another romantic relationship of courting and dating and getting to someone new here. But I can't stop thinking, like hindsight can't stop thinking in the back of their head, back of their mind, about cancer as an empress. Something feels like it's meant to be here. Okay, so they could be having a little bit of a wake-up call here. So we do have Sag, another card of Sag, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. Scorpio, Libra Taurus, Libra. So a lot of Libra showing up, which can indicate something happening. Could be either right now or definitely by the end of Libra season, which is probably, see this reading will be coming out on, let's see, um, I think the 15th, I think. So a little less than a week left of uh, Libra season by the time you see this. But anyway, let's see what else we need to know here for Cancer. The moon in reverse. All is revealed. Page of Cups reverse. Yeah, there was never a confessional love or I love you or any of that going on uh, romantically. But there's a strong connection. Overcoming. Overcoming fear. And maybe that's why the enlightenment is here. All revealed. Nine of Cups. Happiness, joy, wish fulfillment. Seven of Wands reverse, being open and vulnerable. Open now to the connection. Hangman. Definitely, I keep getting this energy of stuck or stuck on each other. No matter how much they've said, I don't want another relationship or I don't looking not looking for love. Relationship, they can't get away from the <laughs> attraction to you. Or like I say, being drawn together like magnets. You're always drawn to each other. So I don't know how you know this person. I mean, maybe you work together or you just know them through social circles or something like that. But however you know this person, yeah, they feel the strong connection too. Even as much as they said they're not interested in love or another connection, they can't get away from this. Hangman stuck. Seven of Wands about being open and vulnerable. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, happiness, joy. The strong connection is here. Could be soul contracts, past life. That can be the willpower determination to hold back. But it can also be the energy of overcoming and being strong, courageous, and brave and standing up. I do feel that Page of Cups reverses this person denying, you know, their feelings or I'm not interested in love or another relationship. But yeah, they think about you. They have feelings for you. They're, they're definitely drawn to you. All right, so we have Pisces, Pisces, Leo, Pisces. A lot of Pisces showing up now. All right, Cancer. What else do we need to know for Cancer? What else 
do we need to know? What is going to happen here for Cancer? King of Cups. Oh, yeah. King of Cups. Yep. Six of Pentacles about to reciprocate the feelings. Balance. Four of Swords. Yeah. They can't stop thinking about you. And there's the Courting Dana getting to know. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles. They may want to take it very, very, very slow. Seven of Pentacles is almost stagnant energy, but Three of Swords reverse is about not being disappointed. So I feel like they're going to want to take it slow. Let's just invest it very, very slowly in this. You know, Three of Cups. Okay, let's court date, get to know each other. Can't stop thinking about you. Reciprocation, balance. They may hold back a little bit of love and emotions, but they do have them. But I think they're not going to give in fully to love and emotions, but they definitely are going to be open to dating and taking it very, very slow. Very, very slow. But we have Pisces showing up again. Look at all the Pisces showing up. Pisces. Here. King of Cups. For me, it's Pisces anyway. All right. So let's see. Now we've got six, seven of Pentacles. That's progression. All right. What else do we need to know here for Cancer? Ace of Cups. Oh, my God. There's a new beginning in love. There's. I was just thinking, wouldn't it be crazy if the Queen of Cups came out on the King of Cups. Almost. 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 King, Ace, Queen. Wow. Okay. Ace of Swords. Clarity from Source. Sun. Yeah. So you may not be totally happy with how things, they want to progress things. Like you may want to just jump full on into a serious relationship. And you may not be happy that they just want to date and take it slow. But the Sun still can be a happy outcome. Even though it's in reverse. Four of Wands. Now this may very well he he head down to the road or commitment down the road. So don't jump the gun too far. Just kind of go with the flow. You know, go with the flow. Yeah, I have a lot of love here. Okay, we'll take it slow. But I see taking a slow boom right into commitment. Four of Wands. <laughs> Ten of Swords. They may have been um, in another commitment that ended took a long time to end because this Ten of Swords, they do see the ending coming. This is just a very weird Ten of Swords. Very, very weird. Anyway, this Ten of Swords does see it coming, but it's a long, painful ending. So they may have gone through that in their past situation. So that could be why they want to take it slow. But we have, you know, awakening, epiphany, truth, clarity, communication, new beginning, truth, clarity, love. Love, love, ace, of, ace between the king and the queen of cups. So, I mean, what else do I have to say? We have you right here. Cancer, Leo as well. All right. We'll do one more row with clarifiers. But if it's resonating so far, Cancer, please do like, comment, all the good things. Be greatly appreciated. All right. One more row with clarifiers. And then we'll jump into the hidden realms. For cancer, please. What else do we need to know? Ace of Pentacles, oh my god, solid new beginning. Death, reverse, yeah. Not going anywhere. This is not going to end anytime soon. There's a lot more to the connection here. Hermits, yeah, they have seemed a little withdrawn. They've been thinking about this a lot. Five of Swords, reverse. So I don't see any like ill intentions here, which is good. So I don't think they're going to deceive you. They're not going to stab you in the back. Nothing like that. Not with the Five of Swords reverse, which is good. You may be asking, well, down the road, what if they stab me in the back and they turn around and, you know, no, I don't see that. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, there's that energy of taking it slow. I definitely felt that. This is going to go into a slow commitment. It will get to commitment. It will. It's Knight of Pentacles. Very slow. But I don't see this person hurting you purposely. They don't have any intentions of that, which is good, which is good. So let's see, we have Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, the devil, though. Huh. We do have strength here, which is upright, overcomes the devil. Don't worry about it. You know, the devil can be fear, stress, worry, anxiety, negative thinking. So don't put yourself in a tizzy with negative thinking, like down the road, what if they back out and they get scared? And I get hurt, heartbroken, they stab me in the back, they def I feel defeated, blah, 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 blah. No, five of swords, no. Strength overcomes the devil. Don't 
get yourself up in a tizzy. The Ace of Pentacles is here. Death reversed. It's not going anywhere. They thought a lot about this with the Hermit. They're definitely single. So I do feel like they probably went through a nasty divorce or something. And then met you right at, shortly after. And that's why they're very, very hesitant about getting into another relationship. That could be their energy here too with the devil, you know. A lot of fear, anxiety, stress. But let's see, we do have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Scorpio. Let's get more, let's see what else you need to know. Star, yeah, wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy, balance, healing, divinely guided energy, things meant to be. King of Pentacles. This is going to lead down to commitment. We have the King of Pentacles here. Very committed, trustworthy, kind energy. Knight of Wands reverse. They're not going to play around. They're not going to treat you as just fire passion. Yeah, Seven of Swords reverse. Yeah, no. No ill intentions here. This is good. Tower. So there's a wake-up call. The change. Shock, surprise, revelations. They're going to be surprised. Knight of Swords. So it is probably going to start slow. Like, okay, we're going to take our time. Take it slow. We'll just stay. Yeah, I'm fine. And then it's just going to take off quick. So, I mean, that's, that's what I have here. Hierophant. Yeah, deep into commitment. Yeah, I can definitely feel that. That pathway is opening up here. Two of Wands. Ten of Wands here with the judgment reversed. Yeah, I think they were too overwhelmed in the past. Recent past, probably, you know, after you first met to make that decision about you and maybe dating. Um, but now things are going to move forward with the Eight of Wands. High Priestess is probably a lot about this person you don't know. Page of Pentacles reversed. Three of Cups. Yeah. I, I do think they're going to come forward here. And the, like I said, there's probably a lot you don't know about their past. So they may reveal that to you in time. But just take your time with this person. Taurus energy here. Um, because I do see it leading down the road of um, commitment. Which, you know, probably what you want eventually. Right, Cancer. So let's get some hidden realms and see what else you need to know. Also, um, everything else you need to know down below. My website's there and lots in the description box, so feel free to check it out if you would like to. All right, Cancer. So let's get some hidden realms. What else do you need to know? The Sun Dancer. So we have the Sun in reverse, but here it's upright. An oracle will kind of trump the tarot, in my opinion. Joyful activity, celebration of a life, abundance, 30 to 5, change. Things are going to change. Very happy, abundant energy here. Happiest energy is the sun. That gives me Leo energy. The shadow queen. Acquiring knowledge and security manipulation, 16-7, which is divinely guided energy. Um, can be a little challenging, though. So this person may have been dealing with a very toxic person in the past. Um which they had to do a lot of healing over. I kind of get that with the Shadow Queen. I don't feel like that's your energy. I feel like that's some sort of nasty energy they dealt with in the past. One more here for Cancer. This one. Sacred Union. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Cancer, I can't. Okay, Partnership Romance 27.9. Almost completion full circle into the new beginning. I'm telling you, you will be committed to this person. Wow. The Altar Priestess. This card has been coming up almost every reading on the bottom of the deck. It's just crazy. Preparation, prayer, sacred ritual, 3912, three, growth and expansion. So you've probably been manifesting this, you know, dreaming, wishing, hoping, praying, manifesting. And it uh, looks like it's going to happen for you, Cancer. Wow. What's behind that? I'm just curious. The chess queen. Yeah, you know, just playing along. I get. That. I had the energy earlier. Just playing along with this person. Like, yeah, yep, yeah, gonna take it slow. Take it slow. But you know, it's gonna move fast. It's gonna move fast. Okay, Cancer. That's what I have for you. So I do hope that helped. That resonated again. Everything you need to know is down below. Wishing you the best, and I shall see you next time.